Hello there. Today I'm going to be explaining how I did the building system from Spheres. So what it basically does is when you right click it'll place a block like this just on the ground somewhere and if it's touching another block it'll sort of align itself with that block. And if you turn the camera like it's on a player or something and you move it will orient the blocks correctly. Like this. So first of all, this is just the default scene with a plane going across here and this script attached to the camera. And the only two important assets I have are this build script and this cube. The only thing special about this cube is the tag it has. It has a block tag. This is just so we can tell if it's different from the ground or something. And that's pretty much all there is to this scene. So if we look at the code, all right, here are the variables that we set up. This is the cursor block. This is the actual instance of the cursor block. And so what we do in start is first we take the prefab, which is the block, and instantiate it, and then destroy the collider off of it because this is going to be the cursor, the green thing that's going around. And then we just set the color to this variable, which we set in the editor. Okay, so here's the important part. This is update. So these three lines are basically just from Unity's uh, documentation of how to shoot away from the camera. I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay, so then if it hits something, it checks what it hit. If it's a block, set this variable to true. And then we use this helper method, which basically goes down here and says, okay, if this is a block, then what you should do is find the transform position of the block and then find the direction that the surface you hit is facing times the block size. And what this will do is, okay, it's the position. Now go this amount of units in the direction of what surface you just hit. And what this basically does is set the X and Z rotation to zero and the Y rotation to whatever it hit. And if it's not a block, which basically just means it hit the ground in this scene, what it does is just set it to exactly where the ray hit, and then set the rotation to 0, camera Y, 0, on the X, Y, and Z respectively. Okay, and then after that, if the mouse is right-clicked, then place a block, which just instantiates the block prefab at the cursor block's position and rotation. And if it's right-clicked, and it is a block, then just destroy what it hit. And so that's basically it for this. That's exactly how it works. Of course, this system isn't really very helpful unless you can save it. I've linked the tutorial that I learned how to save stuff in the description if you want to watch that. It's like an hour long though, so be prepared. Or not, I mean, if you don't want to be prepared, I guess you don't have to. And also, if you want to have other shapes besides cubes, what you'll need to do is have an invisible cube trigger around that shape, and then in Edit, Project Settings, Physics, make sure that Queries Hit Triggers is checked, and so it'll hit the side of the trigger, which will be a cube, which will tell it the correct direction to place the next block. And when you're 3D modeling your custom block shapes, you might actually want to redo the cube as well, just to make sure they're all exactly the same length. But yeah, that's the extremely simplified version of how I did this thing. Hope you enjoyed.